Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here and today I've got a video for you showing you how you can create an Instagram carousel template using Photoshop. And if you're not looking to create a template, this will actually help you to create a really cool uh, Instagram carousel uh, anyway. So uh, you can pretty much still follow this tutorial whether you're going to save a template or not. There's just a one or two steps you're going to leave out. So the idea is if I'm going to create an Instagram image, I'm going to go to file and to new for a second. This is basically the first step. What I want to do is I want to actually create my image at 1080 by 1350 for one image. But with a carousel, we can have up to 10 slides. So what we want to do is keep the height the same, but actually multiply the width. So if I'm going to have 10 slides, which is uh, I'm pretty sure is the limit, at least currently for Instagram, I'm going to times this number by 10. So I get 10,800. And the reason for that is I want to create one large document, which we're going to pretty much cut into 10 pieces and export the images automatically. So that way we have 10 images that'll move smoothly between one another. You may have seen this before with other Instagram carousels where you go from one slide to the next and it's like it's one long image. So it's a cool effect, easy to achieve when you follow this particular process. So we're gonna create our image for 10 slides at 10,800 by 1350. And I'm just gonna hit uh, create and keep the background contents black. All right, so we got our basically our image. As you can see here, image size is 10,800 by 1350. Now what I want to do is split this up into 10 pieces. So I'm actually going to go up to view and I'm going to go to new guide layout and I'm going to go and I'm going to basically, I'm going to undo this. So let's say you land here and you haven't got anything set up. When we go to new guide layout, we want to make sure we have nothing else ticked yet and we just tick on columns and we add in 10 columns. You can add two but this will be the wrong size. So we need to make sure, that's why we need to make sure the width is the correct width for, so if you if you instead had five slides, you would, instead of making it 10,800, you would make it 5,400, whatever five times 1080 is. So because we've got about 10 slides worth here, we wanna add 10 columns. You may notice you have a gutter here, make sure that is zero and make sure the width is left blank. And we wanna make sure that we have these exact settings. Because if you add a gutter, it's actually going to, as I'll show you, if I make it 50, you'll see that it actually separates these guides. And we don't want that because we want these to be one image. We don't want to create another image and then a thin image and another image and a thin image. So we're going to leave this gutter at zero. We've got 10 columns. If we want to, we can create rows, but that's not what we're doing here. And I'm just going to press OK there. So now we have our image and we have guidelines for our 10 carousel images. Now the next step, we're going to go up here to the slice tool. If you can't see this, you should look for either the crop tool, perspective crop tool, one of these. Just hold down your mouse cue over that and then select the slice tool. Now up here, you'll notice there's a button here that says slices from guides. So if I click that, I now have 10 slices in my image. So at this stage, I can go ahead and start designing my image and then I can go out and save it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to very quickly create a design for you and just sort of like piece uh, some stuff together and uh, show you exactly how it works and sort of talk through some bits and pieces. But I'm not gonna to spend too much time because I know that uh, you're pretty much here for the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place uh, some textures to make it seamless. So I've got a texture here. I'm gonna make that nice and big. I'll make it about, we'll go about halfway here. And I'm gonna invert it. I'm not gonna go through the actual design steps. We're just trying to get something here to show you how well it works. And then I might even just duplicate that texture and just, oops, make sure I've got the right tools selected. So I'll get our texture there. Now, one thing I might do just to make sure this all works out well, I'm gonna place a few objects. So maybe I've got this head here. So I can actually flip that. <laughs> I'll go transform, flip horizontal. Make it, uh, take the saturation out of it just for the sake of the effect. And halfway through, because this isn't seamless, I'm gonna add a little bit of a, just something to break it up be a white box. I'm going to skew that box. Okay. So we've got something here. This isn't necessarily a great design, but it's just to demonstrate. If I want to add a title here, I can say, here is 
something really cool. And I'm going to expand this. Now what I recommend is obviously we're going to go through and you want to sort of fill this out some text. Now, if you're actually creating a template, I actually recommend not doing what I just did. I actually recommend grabbing your text tool here and maybe even selecting and creating a box. So that way you can copy some text. We've got our text there and it'll actually confine it to the width of that box. So you can type away and it'll just stay nice and within that boxed area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here and I'm just going to place this in a few areas very quickly. We don't really need to go through all of the little bits and pieces of this. Um, we really want to focus more on the actual portion of the uh, tutorial, which is about splitting up. If you don't know how to use Photoshop, leave a comment below because it may be something I'm sort of liking the idea of going through some basic videos showing you how to use it. But for now, I just really want to get our slides up here. And then of course, let's just grab our little picture again of the man head. Let's pop him back over here a bit. Let's make him a bit larger. Okay, so this is our design, so to speak. It's it's not fantastic, but you get the idea. You want to sit there, you want to create a title maybe. You, you want to come up with a format for each slide so that way, you know, you've got a nice consistent design. But that's probably something for another video. Uh, once again, if you want to see an in-depth tutorial on creating an actual full design template, let me know and I will do that. But for now, this is a quick one on the technicality, just basically how to set up the, temp the actual document. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you want to see. But we've got our document set up now. We've got some bits and pieces. We've got some text. Now what we want to do is actually get these images all to export one bit at a time. There is something else I want to mention though, and that is when you actually view the first slide here on your Instagram profile, it's actually going to chop some from a bit of information from the top and bottom. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually go control A and I'm going to go to my quick mask for a second. And then I'm going to go to free transform. Now I want to make the height 1080 pixels. So where it says the percentage here, I'm actually going to go in here, I'll see if I can type it in pixels. I'm going to unlink it, but uh, 1080 pixels. Okay. And then it's going to hit enter and come out of that quick mask. So this line at the top of the marquee here and at the bottom is where you'll actually get cropped on your profile. So if you, if it doesn't really matter because in the feed you'll see the full image, but if you really want to make sure you're taking full advantage of your profile and you don't want anything to get cut off, you can go ahead and pop some guidelines top and bottom of that at 1080. The other thing you can do is simply paste an image in there. It's 1080, but more or less, you just want to get that image in. I'm going to save this template so you can download it if you want to as well. I am going to remove a lot of the design elements, so it'll just be a blank template, but it'll have all these guidelines and slices ready for you if you want to download it. Once again, link in the description. But basically we're ready to go. We're ready to export this so we can get it onto our Instagram feed. So what I'm going to do up here is go File, Export, and Save for Web. Okay, so now I've got this here. I'm just going to zoom out. I can actually click this, and if it has the plus, if it already has the negative, I can just click, but I'm going to hold down Alt to zoom out. And you see we got all of our slices here. Now what I can do at the moment, this is set to JPEG, so this one slice is going to 97 kilobytes. I, collect this, I check the slice select tool here, go over, we've got a JPEG on each. If for some reason you've got some other format like PNG, which is going to be too big, just hold down shift and select all. If you don't let go of shift, you'll get one. So hold down shift, select all of the slices, and you can play with these settings here. JPEG, even if I change it to PNG, it will recalculate Okay, and you'll see our PNG slices vary in size from 730 kilobytes. So by selecting them all, you can actually edit the settings of all of the slices. So that's just a handy thing to be aware of. But I'm going to pop it back to JPEG, and I want it to be, say, about 65. And uh, so the JPEG ends up being, the, so here, 128 kilobytes, 131. So we've got every image is about 120 to 150 kilobytes, so that's not too bad. 
You'll notice here, the image size is actually different. I would simply just ignore that. Don't change it in any way. Leave it the way it is. Once you've actually selected all your slices and set them all up, you can change individual slices if you find that one is not quite. So you can click on one, one particular slice, change the quality if you want to. But generally speaking, we've got it here the way we want it. And if you want, if by the way, if you want information on going through all these formats and how to compress, I do have a separate video on how to do this, which I'll post in the link below. But basically, we're, we're right to save it now. So we're gonna go down here and click Save. Now, you'll see here, we've got image only, we've got all slices. I can go all user slices, select the slices. I'm just gonna go all slices. I'm actually gonna create a folder and call it Instagram. I'm just gonna call it Instagram slices. And I'll call it template. And then I'm gonna click save. And you give it a few minutes and it's gonna export all of those images into that folder. Now I've got this folder sitting over here, so I'll just bring it across. It's a bit huge, so I'm just gonna resize it a bit. Go into my images. And you can see here, all the images have been separated. If I right click, go to my properties and details, they are 1080 by 1350 pixels. Perfect size for Instagram. So all I need to do now with these images is basically just send them over to Instagram. But before I do that, if this is a template, pop this back over here for a moment, we're gonna to go to file and save as. You see here, like I've got here with these other templates, I'm gonna type in carousel template, but I'm gonna type in PSDT for template. So this means next time we open this file, it's actually going to uh, create a file, which as you can see here, there's no PSD icon there, but that's not what, not what we're looking at, but that's how you can differentiate it, at least on my computer anyway. Uh, when you open it next time, you won't save over the top of it. When you go to save, it will actually prompt you to save it under a different name. So that means you're not gonna accidentally save over the template and have to go back later and fix it. So saving as a PSDT is a great way to create a Photoshop template you can use. So I'm gonna save that. And now we have our template for the future. And if you're not looking for a template, just save it as a PSD. That's pretty much it. Going through that process is pretty straightforward. We've got our images. So I'm going to email those across to my phone and just quickly show you how it's turned out um, by not posting it, but just simply going through the process and showing you how it works. Okay, so now I'm on Instagram. I'm gonna upload this carousel and give you a bit of a look at basically how that works. So I'm gonna press down the bottom that center icon with the plus symbol. And you see here I've got a few images. Unfortunately, they're actually not in order because I, uh, I saved these images and left one out. So uh, that's actually a personal error there. But first thing you wanna do, on that bottom left, that's that little, the two left, uh, the bottom left, top right sort of square corner icon. You wanna press that to get the full height. And then over to the right, you wanna press the gallery button. So it's sort of like the square with the shadow on it not the shadow, but the, the two squares. You wanna press that and you wanna go in order. So I'm simply gonna press this one here and then unpress that one. So I've got one as the first one there and I go across in order. So I've got two and just press each one in order. Seven, eight, nine, scroll back up, 10. So now I'm gonna basically click next. So I've selected all these images and you can see here, as I scroll across, the gap is there only for the editor, but it is actually seamless. Everything we do blends into the next screen and that's basically how it works. You've uploaded it, you can do your usual, you can do your filters, that sort of thing, but otherwise, let's press next. And now we can write our caption and share our carousel. That's basically, that's how that works. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, like I said, if you want me to do a full uh, tutorial on basically creating some kind of design or something like that, uh, I can do that for you as well. Um, so leave a comment below. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys want that. So obviously if I don't get any requests, I'll, I'll leave it. But um, otherwise, if you want to download the blank template that I created, I will actually, that'll be, a, there'll be a link in the description below, take you to a blog post where you can download that. It's uh, about social media image sizes. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that is useful to you and um, you'll be able to go there and make your carousels, get it all nice and seamless and it'll be a much quicker process for you. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like. If you want more tips like this for Photoshop, social media, 
building a website, etc. Please subscribe and um, yeah, if you've got any videos you'd like to see, I may or may not be able to help you there, but uh, leave a comment below, see what we can do. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you later.